Hey friends! So today I am working on a bike. Um, I'm taking an electric vehicle class, an electric vehicle design class at my college. And for the final project, we have to build an electric vehicle. It's like the majority of our grade. So I took the easy option and I'm building a bike. I wanted to do a mountain board, but uh, that's expensive. So uh, not for me. Um, college budget. Uh, yeah, so right now I'm on the painting step. I don't want this rough Walmart paint job. I want to do it myself. So I'm painting the rims. Rims and the body. So the first thing that I did is I set up this paint booth in my camper. I used trash bags and masking tape to set up a nice little area that I won't get paint everywhere. And the next thing I did is I masked the portions of the bike that I didn't want to paint after I took everything apart, which was a pain because, you know, I've never taken apart a bike before, but it's a learning process. I've already learned a lot. So far, so good. I've roughed down the paint so that way the primer has uh, an easy way of bonding. And then I'm going to repaint it. So first thing I'm going to paint is the rims. My, my objective is to get the rims a nice blue color and the frame a gray, so it'll be a blue and gray uh, paint job. I might do white for the body, depending on how, the, uh, how I like it. The primer's white, so I'll see what I prefer. But first things first is safety. That's why I'm wearing a mask. I'm in a very enclosed space, and it's like a 12 foot by 8 foot by 8 foot space. It's the back of a box truck, so it's not a lot of room. I have the window cracked. It's nice and warm in here thanks to my heater, but I have the window cracked that way, you know, fumes don't kill me. <sighs> Safety is a first priority, so I'm staying healthy and staying hydrated. The, uh, the rims, now that I have the rims painted, I'm gonna let them dry. And I'm gonna go grab a few other things I need for the uh, the batteries and stuff. So, multitasking. <coughs> I need a bigger window. Hey friends! Back at it! Day two, working on the bike. So, overnight, I've let the paint cure a little bit. There's clear coat on the rims, the other rims over there, and there's a white enamel paint on the frame. I decided on white, that way I could do stenciling later on, and you know, do other paint options like stripes and stuff, I don't know. Whatever the kids are doing these days. It's pretty cold today, um, day two. It's snowing outside, it's quite nice. I don't know if you can see my breath, like a background. It's cold. It's 20 something degrees, um, which is an issue because you're not supposed to paint in the cold. So today I've put the, the spray cans, the ones I'm using, 
by my propane heater. That way they can heat up a little bit. The paint won't be cold. Uh, it'll be cold when it hits the surface, but you do what you gotta do. It is what it is. It should work though, as long as the paint's pretty warm. It's over there by the heater warming up. Um, but the second thing with it being so cold is I can't have the door open. And with it being such an enclosed space, I will die, maybe, get high, something will happen if I consume, inhale, take in too many paint fumes. So I'm going to go hide in my car during the, uh, the waiting process while each coat is drying. Um, that way, you know, I don't get high as a kite on spray paint. When I was putting another layer of clear coat on the, uh, the rims, I kinda, I kinda hit it. So, uh, you can't see too much. That's good, I'm glad you can't see too much. But, uh, this is nice and smooth, smooth. Abortion. Smooth. So, uh, yeah. I messed up. I, uh, I hit it with, uh, my arm. Right there. And I was like, oh no, let me put some more clear coat on that real quick to fix it. And I grabbed the wrong spray can and I started spray painting it white, not clear. So uh, I fixed it though, it's all good, life goes on. That's the biggest thing I gotta worry about. I'm not too worried then, it could be worse. So I was at my, uh, my camper and my friend was not happy with me being in the cold, so she's letting me work. Wow, it's all snowy outside. She's letting me work in her apartment, which is nice. So here I am. Pretty much all the painting is done in the clear coat. A little bit of the paint got jacked up during the uh, the moving process, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's why I'm sanding it and stuff. So anyways. Sanding went pretty well. Um, I used 2000 grit sandpaper, which took off like the finger the fingerprints that got stuck into the clear coat, but not much else. And that's okay because it doesn't have to be perfect. This is a learning experience, not a work of art. I am not too worried about it.
what, internet? I'm stupid. I got the wrong bike. So, uh, my uh, motor is in a 7 speed, the bike is a 5 speed. So what that means is, everything I've done is pointless. <clears throat> but at least I learned a bit, I know that much more about bikes, and I've gotten practice, you know, painting and stuff. Uh, totally worth it. Um, good thing is though, I can definitely turn the, uh, this bike into a generator for my truck. That way, if the power ever goes out, I can make my own electricity by doing some cardio. So, there's that. And, uh, I can use it as a regular bike until then. So that's cool. So, plan is, tomorrow, buy an actual bike that the motor should fit on. I can go from there. Fuck painting it. Excuse my French. Forget painting it. <laughs>